Hey there, Internet. I'm Kyle. Apparently, I am celebrating Zelda Month by playing my favorite Zelda game of all time, Majora's Mask. But if you're a fan of this channel, you know that generally speaking, when I play a Zelda game, I don't just play a normal version of it. <laughs> um, since I played Ocarina of Time uh, randomized last year, I decided this year we're going to do Majora's Mask randomized. All right. Um... So for those of you who are unfamiliar with a randomizer, essentially what it's going to do is take every item in the game and shuffle them around, um, basically making it so either it's going to be a lot easier to beat or a lot harder depending on what I find, when and where. Um, I believe when I made this ROM, I also shuffled locations of dungeons. I might be incorrect in that. so. Bear with me. Um, but yeah, essentially we're going to be playing Majora's Mask, but with everything shuffled around to make it more difficult -er. Um But without further ado, uh, let's go. Alright. Alright, uh, we'll go with our old standby. Anyone familiar with the channel knows this is why I named every one of my characters. Uh... I don't know if I've ever explained why I named my characters that. Maybe, maybe I will. Uh, <laughs> yeah, so essentially, the reason I name all my characters Cal is because one of my first jobs ever, I worked at a Vietnamese restaurant, and the owner, who is a very sweet, nice lady that I'm still in contact with, uh, she could not pronounce Kyle, so she always called me Cal, and I just always found it endearing, and. I started naming all my characters after that. Yeah, that's about a long and short of it. Alright, let's go. He gives me the creeps, that mask salesman. Okay, so we're skipping the story, so if you don't know the story of Majora's Mask, I'm sorry. Um, essentially, Link runs into the forest. Um, he's trying to find Navi after the events of Ocarina of Time. Um, he gets lost. Um... He wakes up, and a Skull Kid wearing a spooky, scary mask stole the Ocarina of Time. Um, and Link chases him through the forest. Eventually, the Skull Kid um, transforms him into a Deku Shrub. And Link then meets a spooky mask salesman who looks a lot like Shigeru Miyamoto. And he says, hey, if you get your Ocarina back, I can turn you back to normal. I guess we're skipping all of that, though. Uh, normally you'd be a Deku Shrub at this point in the game. I think since it's a randomizer, we're just going to get right into it. Uh, but three days, yes. So that's going to be the thing I didn't even think about. Um, if I don't find the Ocarina, am I screwed in three days? All right. Because um, if, if he doesn't have it, I don't know where it is, and I won't know how to do uh, the Song of Time. All right, okay, so I start off with the Ocarina, so that's nice. That's... That's smart. And I guess I start off with some, some random items. So I got the couple's mask and the lens of truth. And do I literally only have one heart? Oh dear god, I'm so squishy. I don't have a sword either. Okay. This is fun. This is fine. Um, I don't know how in over my head I'm getting ready to hell. I haven't played this in a long time. Uh, not as recently as I had played Ocarina of Time when I did the randomizer of that last year. Um, I do know where some stuff is. But it's one of those things where I have to think about things like fourth dimensionally now. Where I'm like, okay, what can I get with what? So like right now, I don't think I can go down here because I don't have... Yeah, I don't have the secret code. Alright. Uh, I guess I'll just kind of do what you're supposed to do at the beginning of the game. Which is go and meet the bomber kids. I guess we're gonna play a little hide and seek on this first episode. All right. Um. Hey, Jim. Is he? Oh crap. Okay, so I can't even do that because I don't have the Deku Shrub mask to pop the. Mm. Ooh, game, you're wily. All right. Um. I guess we'll check the Great Fairy, see if she can give me anything. Um, oh, I have to gather the other ones. Okay, but I do have songs. Okay. I forgot about that. 
So I have the Goron Lullaby, which I can't think of a thing to do in Clock Town with, but I... Oh, I have the Song of Time. Okay, so I'm definitely not super screwed or anything. Alright. Um, oh no, the Great Fairy. Child! I need you to get my babies. Alright, we're gonna... Sorry, I'm kind of adjusting some stuff on the fly here. Alright, that feels a lot better. Alright, um, so I guess we're gonna go find the fairies in Clocktown. Hopefully those haven't been randomized? Because I can kind of remember. I think during the... Okay, I know where they are for sure at night, but I think I need to be a Deku Shrub to get that one. Uh, during the day, I believe they're down by the laundry? So we're gonna go check that out and avoid walking close to this so I don't have to see that stupid cutscene. Takes forever. Um, let's see. Alright. Uh, hey, frog. Is the fairy not here? Oh, there it is. Alright. Um, I think normally you skip across the pond to get it, but I can totally do this! Alright. All right. Yep. Let's let's get you home and get our first item, hopefully. All right. I also went ahead and made Link's tunic purple because it's the color of the channel. And honestly, when I made that decision, like, uh, oh no, crap! I, I walked into it. Oh, I guess this is a good time to explain this stuff. Um, when I made the channel, like, over a year and a half ago, I kind of just picked purple and red because it went with the logo I wanted to make, and ever since then, uh, purple's actually kind of become my favorite color. In a lot of ways. I guess I still don't wear a lot of purple as far as clothing goes, but like, just random stuff. Like, uh, I paint miniatures for like D&D &D and stuff. And I've been incorporating a lot of purple into my characters. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Alright, uh, 50 rupees. Okay, well that's money, so... Money can buy stuff. Oh my god, I forget if I... I don't think I randomized what the shops have, because... Everything I read about doing that said that's a bad idea. <laughs> so I might have actually listened to the smart people on that one. Okay, um, what else can we do in Clock Town, though? I'm just gonna go look at the shops, see what I can buy. Um, yep, there's Money Money Man. That kid phased out of existence. Alright, um, alright. So, let's go check the shops and make sure I didn't completely bone myself here. Okay, I didn't. Um, honestly, I might... Might have to buy a shield. I don't have enough. Alright, alright, we're gonna come back and buy a shield. Oh, wait. I forget if... Is this the Scarecrow that can teach me... Cool guy stuff? Oh, baby. It's a nice thing you got there. Let me hear a song you wrote. Oh god, I actually used to know how to play songs on the ocarina. Um, okay, I think... It... Yeah, that's... No, Daddy-o. That doesn't sing my heart. Alright, um... But also, for the sake of this, I'm just gonna... Play something I'll never forget. No, Daddy-o. That doesn't sing my heart. Alright, uh... I forget what I need to play for him. I thought he just wanted a random song. Um, a song I wrote? All my songs suck, apparently, bro. Alright, one more. One more, see if I can <laughs> randomly pick something he likes. Um... Nah, alright. I forget what I'm supposed to do there, and that sound effect is horrifying. Uh... <laughs> We'll, we'll move it right along. I, I wonder if I can already do the uh, Song of Reverse time. That uh, just slows things down. Uh, 
Okay. Options becoming limited. Alright, um... I think it might be too late, actually. I might have screwed up. I could... I forget when, um, Goron Link shows up to get his room at the stockpot. I think I already missed that check-in window. Let's see... Yes. Uh, no vac... Okay, so I didn't miss that window. Okay, uh... All right, um... Huh, okay. This is the first part of a randomizer. It's always like this. I, I don't do this stuff competitively. Like, people actually race this stuff, and I can't imagine having that kind of intimate knowledge of the game. All right, um... Yeah, I don't think there's anything else I can do here. Um, let's... Let's... Gawoosh. Um... All right, Termina Field with one heart, no shield, no sword. <sighs> trying to think of where a place to go would be. I think realistically, I can only get into the forest. Um, yeah, I don't think I can get into the Great Bay. I don't think I can get. I definitely can't go to Ikana Valley, and I can't go to the ranch because the big boulders there, and I don't have the big Goron bomb, and I don't have fire arrows to get into Snowhead, so yeah, we're gonna, we're going with the Swamp, which, yet again, will be interesting, considering I don't have the Deku mask. Um, yeah, it's weird, I, I was so confident going into this that, like, ah, oh, this one will be easier than Ocarina of Time, but now I'm just realizing that I feel like Maybe I don't know every single spot in this game as well as I thought I did. Um. Huh. Okay, this is the wrong, wrong way. Gorman Brothers don't give you anything at this point either. Heck, I don't even have a sword to activate the owl statues. This is rough. I am. I am as naked as a link can possibly be. Okay, oh. Is it back the other way? Yeah. Because there's a little, little cutscene. I switched my monitors too, so if I'm staring around, it's because I'm used to looking here, but I actually have the game here. I might switch that after this, just because I'm getting self-conscious about it. And it just makes it easier to look at the camera. Okay, so, cutscene. Look, it's the sad little duck-billed boy who no one liked but me and my brother. Um, yeah, there's some guy pressure washing next door too, so that's that's what that fun sound is in the background, if you can hear that. He, he's, he hasn't done it for like four hours and has just been sitting in his car and he's like, Oh, I think he's recording now. It's fine. Hopefully you'll be done soon. Yeah, this was kind of a touching scene in the original game. Like, this game has an incredible story, especially for the era. It was so different. And I think that's why, like, A, you know, it came out at the perfect time for me for it to be my favorite Zelda game. I think it came out when I was, like, what, like, maybe... Did it come out in 2000? I was either, like, I was somewhere between the ages of 10 and 12. I'm not exactly sure when the game came out. But I remember getting this after I'd already beaten Ocarina of Time. And, like, I loved Ocarina of Time. Link to the Past and Ocarina of Time, two of my favorite games of all time. But I got this one, and just... it was I think it was, like, kind of the first game I really played that felt like the world was, like, really, really lived in. And it had this really dark story. And that's... It just got me. Like, to this day, Majora's Mask is still my favorite Zelda game of all time. Like, it's so freaking good. Like, it, you know, people always talk about, like, if you could erase your memory of playing through a game and then play through it for the first time again, honestly, Majora's Mask would be up there. I'm sure it's because he was always playing tricks and nobody wanted to play with him. 
Ja. Oh yeah, and this is when he mugged Shigeru Miyamoto and stole the spooky mask. Bing, 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 bing. But once he got his power... Yeah, the pressure washer guy needs to stop. He's just getting louder. Alright, uh, but let's go into the swamp and check this out. Alright, um... Yeah, let's see. I think over here is just the... Uh, I think it's just the archery minigame, or one of them. Let's see, you got anything? Yeah. Oh, crap. I keep forgetting I only have one heart, too. Yeah, it's just an archery minigame. Correct? Yep, shooting gallery. I ain't got no bow, I know. I'll see myself out. Alright, well, we're gonna go back and, uh, see what happens when I try to do the swamp tour. I think normally they give you the... the Picto box. So, hopefully they give me a thing that will allow me to do another thing. Whomst knows. Uh, and just so you guys know, I do not plan on, like, hundo peeing this game. Um, my only goal with this is to beat it as quickly as possible, just like Ocarina. Like, I'm not going to be collecting all 30 masks. I probably will not be getting the Fierce Deities mask unless I get it randomly. Um, that'd be sick, though. We are just trying to beat this. All right, what do you got here, dork? Blimey, where is he? That spoiled child is off playing hooky again. Sorry, I always thought that this guy is like cockney as fuck. Um, Charles, his age has no business searching for fairies. Oh, um, <laughs> welcome. Show me pictograph you've taken. I ain't got no pictograph, doob. Uh, yes it is. Alright, hold on. Pictograph contest. Okay. And... Uh, you must take the boat cruise. Boat cruise reservations are handled the window over there. If you're interested, go for a ride. Alright, and she's not gonna be here. Yeah. Alright. Crap. Okay, um... Is the water poison? It looks like the water's not poisoned, which it normally is at this point. So yet again, thank you game for the kindness. Yeah, that's what I was worried about, because I've... Like, normally you have to bounce as Deku Link to not just die and also having one heart. I'm big spooked by everything right now. Like, I can't even kill those things. I guess I could technically start, like... Looking for Deku nuts and various other crap. Nothing? Alright. Yeah, a oh, rupee. Okay. Um, talk to her, and I'm pretty sure I remember the route to find her sister. Let's see. Hey, baby. Alright, Tiki, welcome. My potions very well, they do. Yes. Looking for mushrooms? No, I think about it. She's All right, all right. So, yep, we're about to go into the forest of one-hit deaths. Um, this should be interesting. I'm really hoping whatever is at the end of this is worth it. But also now that um, no, I still couldn't get in the Deku Palace. I'm trying to think if the water not being poisoned allows me to do anything I couldn't think of normally. All right, but yeah, we're gonna chase this monkey. Alright. Let's go on his suboptimal routes. Crap. Yeah, these guys. Come on, bud. Oh, 
crap. I lost him. Alright. Alright, cool. We did a first try. Good job. Oh, crap. I need a potion. Oh. Uh, bummer. I'm sorry, lady. Alright. Oh, wait. I think now if I go out and talk to her sister, she gives you the first bottle with a potion in it. If I'm not mistaken. Yeah, again, could be wrong. This is about the only lead I have right now, though. At least that I can think of. Maybe y'all got some big brains going on there. Alright. Yeah, there we go. Oh, shush. Ah, uh, you suck. <laughs> Alright, well, at least I got that. Um, and I can afford a red potion. Alright. We can do it, though. We are not dead yet. Yeah, I'm... I'm just anticipating, like, hitting some serious walls in this playthrough. Alright. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I think I remember the way, but I'll have you go just in case I get lost. Yeah, and then... This way, and... This way, I did it. All right. All right. Where is a zip All right. Here you go, baby. <gasps> that color, that smell, that's definitely Kotaki's. Yeah. What? No tip? Rude. All right. So now we can go there and see what's what's the dealio. Um Oh god, I forgot about you. Yes, I know you're I know your 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 brother got captured trying to save the Deku princess. And you guys have very red butts. Um we'll 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 get to that guys, I promise. We're we're kinda going out of order here. Be all right. Okay. Back to the guide. I think, uh, like I normally do with series like this, I'm gonna go a little longer just because it's the first episode, and I like to kind of really sink my teeth into it before we start going closer to 20. So we, we might go, we might go a little bit longer. We'll see. Depending on what this item is, if I if it's something I that won't help me, maybe I'll take a break. And we'll call it episode while I gather myself. All right. But what we got? It's magic beans. Okay. So now I have magic beans and a jar. All right. All right. Um. There is. Definitely stuff to do with those. Um, trying to remember what I think there's something I can do outside the Deku Palace. I might be incorrect again, but I think there is. I know there for sure is one that I need to be able to get into the palace to do. Huh. And the guy you buy the beans from is there. Alright. 
Yeah, it's really weird not having a sword at the very least. <laughs> Swordless run, let's do it. Let's not. <laughs> Just give me a sword, please. Um, I see you, friend. Yeah, I'm coming sooner than I thought I was. You're welcome. Alright. Yep. Oh, the water out here is poison. Yes. That's weird. Yep, let's go, friend. I'll probably take a break after this and wait for old power washing dude bro to be done. Um, crap, the water's, water's poisoned. But that really puts a damper on my plans. Crap. Can I just, uh, go in, fellas? I feel like there's a way I can do this. I can glitch past you guys. I feel like there's actually legitimately a way to do that. I just can't remember what it is. Alright. Well. Dog turds. Um. Well, sounds like you might be done. That would sure be great, right? Uh, yeah. Well, that sucks. Huh. I'm just trying to think if there's anywhere else to plant beans. I feel like I've seen one. Hmm. Yeah, that's, uh, that's a brain teaser right there. Is there a place out here? Oh, there is, but it's just a red rupee that's up there. Okay. That hardly seems worth it. Hmm. Okay, um... Okay. Well, that was fun. Crap. Okay. Um. Heh. Heh. Is there a place out here to plant them? Leave me alone. I am... Ooh, a hole. What's in the hole? Oh, crap, I forgot. There are a bunch of holes over near Snowhead and also... Oh, crap, I didn't mean to walk out. But also, there's a chest right there. I'm stupid. I should be looking for holes. All right, cool. Don't die. No die. Big money, no whammies. Oh, that opens up a lot. Okay, that's actually freaking awesome. Um, uh, that opens up so much crap. Um, I'm pretty sure with the Goron mask, A, I can buy a powder keg now. Oh, wait, no, I can't because I think I have to go to Snowhead to get the certification or something? There's stuff I can do with the Goron mask. I know that for sure. Um, and we're going to find out what that is on the next episode. I uh, hope you guys are enjoying Zelda Month. Um, and for you who are unaware, Zelda Month is uh, something created by uh, Peanut Butter Gamer probably, what, like, God, almost a decade ago, probably seven years ago. Uh, this month he's doing Mario content, which he's been kind of off and off switching, but he's been doing Zelda content for a while. Um... But yeah, it's my favorite month of the year for content. I hope you guys are enjoying this. If there's any Zelda content you would like to see, if um, there's a game you'd like to see me play some of, uh, just let me know down below. Uh, thank you guys so very much for watching. I'm Kyle, apparently, and I will see you next time.